Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. It is late at night on a Wednesday. It's around 9.05. Uh, this afternoon I got a hard drive in. Uh, unfortunately the, the hard drive I put into that Western OWC Mini Stack Classic was a dud. And what it was doing was it was mounting. It would mount sometimes. I plugged it into the computer directly to see if it was the... Not only was it not mounting, it was also clicking and making noises and would work sometimes. So I plugged it into my Mac Pro directly and it asked to be reinitialized. So I reinitialized it. it. Doesn't matter, it's just a backup drive. Then it started acting up again. So I plugged it into my Mac Pro downstairs, did the same thing, asked to be initialized, then it started acting up again. I sent it back to OWC on the warranty it came with and um, they sent me back a new one. I don't know if it's new, it says um, here, recertified, which I'm assuming means that they fixed it, which I didn't know you could fix hard drives. Anyway, we're going to see how this works now. So I already have, a, I've had this thing opened up, and laying on my desk for a couple of weeks now. Got a hard drive in it, we'll pull that baby back in, but I just wanted to show you that this is pretty unique. I don't think many uh, people Everything I buy with technology, I have to get my second go at because the first one's always broken. Anyway, so we're gonna open this bad boy up. Yeah, luckily I keep the wrapping because I just sent it back to the old wrapping and they were like, oh, this is great, you just made our life so much easier. We wanted to send you packing to it. We got the old one. I'm like, yeah, it's like actually a thing. Anyway, we're gonna plug this bad boy in. So, we got here. Let's put the anti stack bag over. Actually, I have the box over here. Yeah. Over there. So here we go. It looks like a Western Digital Black Drive. Um, it's got a model number on it, but I can't look that up at the moment because I'm currently recording a video. But it looks like it's a Western Digital Black, even though I got a green. Maybe it's just the, they took off the plastic and that's what's underneath. Because it looks like. Oh, maybe what they do is they took off the plastic and left that underneath. Yeah, I think that's what they did. This is what it looks like underneath because they probably. Replace the sticker with recertified so that they knew that they finished it. Which makes sense. And it's pretty solid, heavy drive. Screw this in. Slide this on. So, in case you didn't have enough. <laughs> um, big screws in here. Three of them. Not bad. So there you go. That is on. Nice and tight. We're gonna actually before we put everything back on, we're gonna put the hard drive on top of my computer, plug it in, and see if it works. So I'll be back in a minute once I have it plugged in. All right, so here we are. Um, let's just give you a little look at what we're doing here. Uh, here's the top of the Mac Mini Classic right here. Um, I just put the chassis, plugged it in, off to the side on the Mac Pro, um, just so that if I have to get back into it, I don't have to open up the chassis again. So let's get back. Let's flip her on happens. That sounds good. Before the other one was going. That's the sound I was making. Yep, now it's working. Let's see. Should be really easy. Screen flow. Yep, it worked. There it is right there. Or is it? Oh shoot, they sent me the wrong drive. Huh? <laughs> um, perhaps if I erase it, it'll be four terabytes? That's... That's extremely upsetting. Um... Note to anybody who is buying from Western Digital, um, they will send you the wrong size drive back. Holy smokes, did they really? It says 4 terabyte, but it only reads as 2 terabyte. Ooh, that's a problem and a half. Um, yeah, we're gonna email Western Digital and see what is with this. That's a... Problem. Like, see, look at this 2.2 terabyte newer tech. That's the hard drive in there. And then we go down here and it says 4 terabyte. Okay, I'm gonna plug this into my Mac Pro and see if you see if it's just the OWC newer tech thing that's acting up. So I'll be back in a minute. Back at it again. We'll see what happens. Um, plugged it in. 
the slot number four. So here's the the old hard drive that was in it before I replaced it. This just turned into a big convoluted mess. I need four terabytes of backup space. That is a necessity. <sighs> we'll see what happens here. This better work. It better just be a, some sort of stupid issue that I can fix here. I'm not sending this thing back and out again. It is. It says now that it is four terabytes according to disk utility, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to re erase it and see if that fixes it. Okay. Now it is erasing. And it says Mini Stack Classic is. Four terabytes. Okay, maybe it just needs to be installed this way. So I'm going to remove it from the computer now and into the Mini Stack Classic and see if that works. <sighs> Take a breath here. Back in a minute. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, I'm just doing that. <laughs> Plugging it in. And uh, we got to boot it up now, so let's flip the switch and let's see what happens. Go over here, flip the switch, don't get electrocuted. Nice. Alright, let's see what happens. Better say four terabytes or I'm going to lose it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's spinning up right now. Yeah, it is right there. It's saying it's only 2.2. .2. I'm going to look into this. This is a problem. Be back. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I have come back with a solution to the problem. So I called... Newer Tech, who makes the OWC Maystack Classic, and they gave me the uh, the answer that you have a problem with the chipset in the hard drive. So um, when they replaced the hard drive, apparently they put a new chipset into it that is incompatible with the mother the motherboard on that internal array, that internal hard drive bay. So something in there is not clicking, and um, so what I had to do was uh call Western Digital and if you go into not that about this Mac more info go into system profiler storage oh no never mind system report sorry you can see exactly what I'm talking about so if we go to um, SATA right over here we can see all the hard drives so what I ended up doing is putting it inside the uh, the actual computer, as you can see here, is an actual drive. That's the drive, the four terabyte, and I stuck the three ter the the older one terabyte drive that was in there originally. I stuck that back in to the drive bay, so at least I have it. But so as you can see, it's the drive inside. And if we go to one, two, three, I believe this is it. Let's see, no. Back up. Yeah, here we go. Four terabytes. Um, what they said was the Oxford chipset is not the right one. Anyway, I will post the number of that Oxford chipset that is incorrect in there. But they said the Oxford chipset is incompatible with the hard drive caddy. So what does this mean? You need to get a new hard drive caddy. That's what I need to do. So I was thinking about getting the newer tech. We go to the website. Right here. The Max uh, has an SD card reader, which I will use a lot, USB 3.0, which I cannot use unless I got a USB 3.0 expansion card for a PCI slot. Uh, but more importantly for me is that it has a DVD burner, which the one on this computer is a bit flaky that it came with. Now I could take DVD burners out of my old Mac Pro, but why would I want to do that when that one's doing some, do, using both of those? So this would actually make sense just to buy the, the blank one to put your own SD card, SSD or hard drive in. And I actually think it comes with the ability to put two rack two hard drives in there if you got the uh, the SSD, SSD expansion slot thing. I think it can hold two, but one for sure. And I would stick the 4 terabyte hard drive in there. It's got eSATA, which would be important for me because I would want to get an eSATA card for it. And that's basically where I'm at right now with this whole setup because I cannot use the hard drive in this array. It only sees it as two terabytes as you remember earlier. So uh, that's where I'm at right now and if anybody else has this problem uh, shoot me a comment. Tell me how they dealt with it. I'd love to know because 
I'm not really in the mood for shelling out 160 bucks on a new thing because it works right now. But if I had to, I would definitely get this 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 model of the uh, hard drive caddy. So uh, shoot me an email. Shoot me. I mean, uh, shoot me a comment below. Tell me how if you had the same problem you dealt with it. Let me know. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. More to come for sure. Uh, we'll be definitely getting the iPhone 6. Look ahead to that, and there will be a review on that. And judging from every time I buy a phone, there will also be an Apple Care <laughs> unboxing as well, because every phone that I bought has been broken in the box, so I've had to replace it. So, look forward to that. That's probably happening again. You know my luck. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed.